minute mark. Welcome back to the OND Life, guys. Thanks for joining me. Hey, I've got a, a video here that I thought I, I'd, I'd put together. Um, I was doing some landscape raking and got some footage out there and thought I'd uh, play it here as well as do um, some voiceover talk, um, talk about what I like about the rake and using it. And uh, really, I'm still, uh, uh, still haven't used it to its fullest potential yet, to be honest with you. I am constantly, um, you know, just not able to get into as much as what I'd like to. Too many other uh, irons in the fire, if you will. So anyways, what I thought I'd do is I'd let this play, talk about uh, what I was doing out there. I think in the middle of this is some uh, footage where I'm talking, so I'll uh, let that play through. And uh, hope you guys enjoy. I think this might be, yeah, the video itself is, what, 34 minutes. So let me shut up and let the video play, and we'll get started. Thanks for joining. So this is on the part of the property. There to the right is where the goats are. Um, used to have some of the puppies, the big puppies over there. That's where I dug out some dens. Now the goats use the dens. Um, had a tree fall and uh, crushed my fence that was between the dogs and the goats. And so I just went ahead, moved the dogs out. That's a whole nother story. I'll have to get into that some other time. But so this section where I'm at is on the horses, horses side. This section get has a bunch of branches that are down. Um, you know, of course, leaves, um, things like that. So I thought, well, let's use the landscape break. Let's go through and clean some of this up. And uh, basically I was getting orange and dirty, getting some quality tractor time. Some QTT. So what I did do is I did edit the video so that it would um, be all tractor action basically anytime i went out of the screen i just edited out the uh time that i was out of the screen but i was just kind of going through pulling a lot of these branches up to the top i think i am gonna just play with my volume here a little bit when I go closer to the camera, the engine noise might be a little bit louder. So this is the landscape rake from Titan Attachments with the optional guide wheels. I'm using those guide wheels so it doesn't really cut down. Over here, I probably could have gotten away with not using them and, and actually had a little better results. I've got the guide wheels set so that uh, I can use it in my grass so that that way it doesn't tear out my grass so much. It kind of, um, you know, I try and get some sticks out of the grass and, um, so it's not digging down. It, it's probably set just a little bit too high for this application. But needless to say, it builds up with leaves and debris and, 
and it still breaks the area just fine. Hear those guinea hens. They are noisy. Do you guys have any uh, any experience with guinea hens? They make great guard birds. And from what I hear, they do great with uh, clearing ticks out of your property. Unfortunately, I can't let mine run free. I'd lose them with the dogs. So with the way that I have the guide wheels, you know, I end up losing stuff. And But, you know, after I make a couple passes, it ends up clearing it out. It was a pretty nice day that day. So that's one of the things when you lower it, you do want to make sure and keep your hand so it really has the room to lower down when you go over a little hump like that. So it fills up with material. Which ended up being all right. So I hope everyone had a, a nice Independence Day yesterday. Today, Sunday, July 5th. Now, I do have some international uh, subscribers, so at our Independence Day yesterday, 4th of July. I'm sure some of you were watching Outdoors with the Morgans fireworks show. I ended up watching it later right before I went to bed. Great show. So I am starting to realize, wow, this rake is pretty nice. It, it, it really kind of cleans things up, um, you know, deposits dirt into the low, low points. Um, I'm really really liking it doesn't always get the twigs <laughs> and especially if you turn in you lose some stuff but uh hey that just means you got to make another pass now this is an area that uh tends to get neglected so i do need to come through and probably limb things up that branch um to the left is a, runs down kind of low. I, I think I'll leave that. I think sometimes the horses even use it to rub on and scratch themselves. My wife is really fond of that branch, just kind of, I guess, makes her think of a tree that she had that she used to climb, and low branch sitting out there on the limb. 
Now, some of you may recognize that this is the area that I rolled my tractor as well. So just on the other side of that tree is um, where I rolled it. In fact, in that video where I talk about that rollover, I talk about, wow, if I would have rolled over a little bit sooner, I, it, it would have put me in the, the captain station control station of the tractor right into that tree trunk. So that could have been bad. I think this is where I actually get off and um, limb up a few things. Yeah, pull off the old chainsaw. If you haven't gotten a saw haul, I highly recommend it. I mean, so here's a, you know, I carry a limbing saw um, as well, you know, handheld one. But uh, why, why not use a chainsaw if you got it with you as well? So, made fairly quick work. Actually, I, I need to change, needed to change my chain. Um, it is, it was getting dull. I have since changed that chain now. So I've got that limbed up and then I'll get going again. There's a section down in, to the right of where I'm cutting where there's a lot of branches and uh, actually a bunch of bricks are over in that area strewn about and um, when I back into that area I'll be pulling some of those bricks out and I'll probably um, you know so I'm pulling all this debris to the top and there's a flat up there and you'll see it later on but later on not in this video um, I go through and pull out the bricks and then I'll go through and pull out the um, branches, bigger branches, end up burning a lot of that. Might have even chipped some of it. Move that out of the way because I did end up, well, and you guys have actually seen the chipping video. Um, I came back up there and I was chipping those <laughs> trees, small trees that I had. Ooh, those goats, they wanted some of that, didn't they? You see them coming up? So, um, there's a couple uh, um, guys that always ask me about the dogs. Dogs are doing well. They're getting big. Um, you know, we, uh, golly, where do I start? You know, well, we're, we're keeping them. Um, we have 12 dogs. <laughs> I can't believe I admit to that. But, um, you know, I've got kennels. My basement, it is a finished basement down there on that side, but it's really, we use it for storage. We've used it for storage and just throwing stuff, basically. Um, but I've got kennels in there, large kennels. So, w like when that tree went down um, that I was telling you about, because we had the dogs on that other side of the fence right there, uh, the other puppies that we had that when they grew up, um, they had to get them out. And uh, so they became... Um, you know, by the house dogs, I guess you'd call it. And uh, we let them out during the day. We put them up at night. Um, or if, you know, some other reason, if we need to put them up, we'll put them in there. It, it truly is better for them. You know, yes, the I put their dens in down there with the thought that they'd be warmer. And, um, you know, in the winter time, But really... You know, so we, we've got their kennels set up inside our basement, and um, 
we will end up adding more. Well, actually, I've got the kennels already, but we have the kennels in the um, in our spring porch right now. Three of them, and then I've got a fourth one inside. So in case we need to nurse a dog or something and have it inside, uh, we got a kennel in there uh, on on our our main floor. And so one of the puppies of our four puppies does get to stay in. And so that is Apollo, although my daughter, my wife have renamed him Asher. Oh, but what I was getting to, so we have 12 dogs. And I was joking that we have uh, enough for a calendar. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to feature each dog and kind of give give you guys their personality, put a little video together. That might be kind of fun to do. Um, you know, they each have their own little personalities. I've actually halfway done one on uh, our dog Smoke, and uh, it, 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 it might be kind of fun to do. Each month, <laughs> dog of the month. <laughs> so what I tried to do is pull the dirt over when I turn, I knew I was going to lose it. So I just tried, got into the habit of pulling it up and then lifting up and re adjusting and then pulling it on up. But anyway, I think I'm going to try and get that stick now. Maybe a few other ones. Like I said, I should have taken the guide wheels off. Although, like I, it, it, I I'm, I'm very, I'm pleased with how it all ended up anyway. So it, it just would have saved me from losing stuff a little bit better. So this software that I'm using, you know, it's web-based, don't have to download anything. I was recommending to Mike Morgan there uh, to try it out for his his fireworks so that that way he could, you know, go to different cameras or phones, basically, that are uh, using the link like we've done our interviews or, uh, you know, other people can come in. They could have set it up to have different phones, um, angles, and gotten to different angles for their fireworks. Maybe having some people going around, talking to people in the crowd beforehand or after. Because um, the reason why I said that is on their test live stream the night before, uh, they were talking about having it and you know, getting all the fireworks in in frame and all that stuff but I'm, I'm really liking the software i think i am going to um, purchase the monthly you know the the version or membership get a few more perks with it i mean this free version is is great and really does the trick but, um, you know, it puts the uh, um, powered by StreamYard, you know, brand up there. I'll be able to put my own. I can have different, a custom backdrop. So that might be kind of nice. So might have to 
upgrade a little bit. So I do not have any other interviews set up at the moment. I was going to try and get something going with um, Tony from AI2, and he's open to it. Just he's so dang busy. So it's hard to coordinate. Um, he's a busy guy over there, and, you know, he's he's basically a one-man show. His wife helps him, of course, but, uh, of course, she has her hands full with the, the kids as well, as well. So... But that would, I'd love to do an interview with him. He is, uh, he's a real neat guy to talk to. Um, in the beginning, when I did get my forks and the quick attach, uh, we talked for a good while. And I've, I've heard similar uh, stories where uh, he will, <laughs> once you get in touch with him and he calls you back and everything, uh, you know, he'll, he'll help you figure out what you need. Man, I'm seeing some uh, um, posts on the face, Facebook uh, Kubota forum, BXer uh, forum. People uh, bending their quick attaches. Um, the skid steer quick change or whatever. Um, you know, this, it seems like the lever doesn't get always seated right and people are really bending their their loader arms and or the quick attach. Um, it, uh, interesting, just when I was talking to Tony, he talks about how, you know, he, in his early phases, he had to really reinforce things a bit because of that, um, that little bit of research and development uh, that he did. And, uh, you know, he's, he's got a real robust quick attach. So I've, I've been very pleased with it, but just goes to show the torque. And that's what he talked about, just the amount of torque that uh, that plate basically is put through. Um, you, need, you need something robust there. And... Uh, so he, he, his quick attach is uh, built to withstand that. And I, I will say, as far as accidentally not getting your latch put in place right, I, I, I've not had that problem. I, I guess it could happen potentially, but the keeper pin, um, if that got pulled out, the other aspect that holds your bucket on, I think wouldn't come out. I mean, it would take a, I mean, the odds of it happening, I, I just don't see, because gravity is really keeping it in place, helping it stay in place. So even if you lost the keeper pin. The other thing that I like about Tony's quick attach on that front end is, you know, I can stand on one side and get, get both um, latch both sides down. I don't have to walk around. The Kubota quick attach pin version uh, you had to basically walk around. Of course, now I think with that SS QA, you could stand on one side and latch it down. It just sounds like it might be prone to not always getting latched and um, has the potential for it to become unlatched. So to check out Tony's quick quick kit attach system and he has something for there to go with their their 
SSQA system. I'm just rambling, talking through. So I can't wait to make some trails. I started to do a little bit more clearing, you know, just before I did all that chipping a couple, few weeks ago. Um, when I decided I, you know, I better not because of the, I, I was worried about all the ticks and the, and potentially rattlesnakes. So I thought I need to save that for the winter time. But I can't wait to, clear a little bit more area, um, go through with the rake, maybe have a trail or two, maintain a trail or two. I, um, using the rake this time around just really kind of showed how, how nice it is. So you can watch other videos about how to how to adjust it, you know, with your top link. Um, since I have the guide wheels, I don't think that makes as big of a difference. If I did not have the guide wheels, from my understanding, if you really pull that top link in, it's not going to dig down as much. If you let it out, then it tends to dig in a little bit more. <laughs> Looks good. At some point here, I might have to step away and I'll just let it run. I've got some goats loose. And our husky, Koji, he likes to chase them and actually grab them. And uh, if left alone, he probably would kill one. And uh, I just saw, he, he had jumped up, so I was looking out. He's come back to sit on the porch of the schoolhouse here. I guess I forgot a spot here. Meant to show you guys. Using my log ox mug. Let's see, get a good picture, show of it. Yeah, this is a section that I uh, slipped by my editing. But look at that. It, it, doesn't that look nice? I love it. I think I finished editing everything. Let's see, am I gonna take you for a ride? Can't remember. Good Lord, I'm sorry.
might have to cut some of this stuff out. In the final edit. So I got to tell you a quick story. I was kind of feeling a little bummed um, that I haven't gotten more stuff done outdoors. Um, and my daughter was telling me about a section that I had cleaned out in the middle of our two uh, grassy areas the, where those trees, you know, where I cut down those two real big pines. And it used to all be overgrown in there. And she talked about how scary it was. And now it's, uh, you know, all grass and nice in there. And it kind of, kind of made me feel good that uh, got rid of the scary woods for her. <laughs> yeah, I guess I wanted to try and give you some uh, other angles. I'm holding the camera, so sorry it's so dang shaky. I think I just decided, well, I see a lot of brush down in there. Let me try and pull that out. Like I said, with those guide wheels, it, it's not scraping the ground completely. So ended up not getting as much as I would have liked. But I was able to scrape a good bit out. And uh, I think later on I did mow and got got some got more later on but there you can see a good bit of branches that I pulled out and you know what this does level things up nicely Yeah, when I was chipping, I think I got a lot of that stuff pulled out of there. Just a little ways. I don't think I'd do this for too long. <laughs> I figured that's probably making you guys sick. All right, let's see. So this is what I raked out. Figured I'd get up in there, be able to mow and come through. You know, so this is my first time really using the rake. And I still, you know, for the most part, I was just playing. I like it. You know, a lot of down limbs. There's a lot of bricks in here. So I'll be able to come through, work this area a little more. I'm going to trim up some of the underbrush, chip it up, get this kind of cleaned up in here. Come through, I got a piece of plywood there I need to get cleaned up. Repair my fence. Got field fence over there. I've got some seed. I wonder if I should throw some seed down around in through here. This big piece I couldn't get to because of that branch. I'll be able to. Well, now I might trim up this tree so I have plenty of clearance. I can start uh, 
taking care of this area more, hitting it with the rake, smoothing out down there. So I would come down. This is where I rolled right, right in here. I was using the Prana tooth bar, go through some of the weeds there. Now I just uh, use my zero turn, come down. I'll have to get some video of that sometime. But I came down with the rake a few times in a few spots, try and smooth this out. I did not hit this area with the zero turn. It's a little bit too bumpy. Might need to put some dirt in here and uh, smooth it out. See some roots. All right. So, all right. So that was uh, that video footage I had. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hey, don't forget to hit that uh, like button. It really does help uh, get the video suggested. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys use your rake for. Um, I did a poll uh, not too long ago asking them what implement you guys keep on your um, tractors the most. There was a couple that said a landscape rig. So let me know uh, how, how else you guys use it. I'm trying to think, what else did I want to tell you guys? Um, yeah, just give it, give it a thumbs up and uh, share the video, comment. Main thing you can do to help me out, help a brother out, is to give it a thumbs up and comment below. Um, that just shows that engagement, and I'd sure appreciate it. So you guys have a great day. I'll wind you out.